there because remember we had holes because we added some pieces um, to make them long enough for older kids. So I have older kids, so I need to make them longer. If you have younger kids, you can do this just with the arm. So now that I have two legs and I have the little crotch part, remember we used pants and traced them. So we want to know where that little out vent is. So the final step is to sew the legs together. So you're gonna find, um, keep them both inside out and you're gonna find that little crotch part and you're going to line them up with the other side and pin them together right at that center seam. I'll do that right here. And then you're gonna line up the two sides. Now this has a really long um, top and we tried it on and it's still gonna work okay. Um, Oops, I think you want to keep your outsides out. You want the inside out, out, so the seams are on the inside. So just make sure that you pin it. So we're matching up both legs. First we did the crotch, we matched that up. And then, and I think I'm going to pin it, that should work. You can kind of see that once you open it up like this, it'll look like pants. So we're just matching up the tops, match up the crotch, and then you're going to sew from the crotch where we pinned it, all the way up to the waistband on both sides. Um, and then once you have that all sewed up, your pants are just about done and you can fold over the top and sew along there to make a um, section for the elastic. And then leave just like an inch or two where you didn't sew, so you have a place to put your, get your elastic in there and out, and you can sew that up at the end. And then you will have your wool pants. So now we have sewn the legs together. When you sew them, it's always like this, where you match up the middle of the crotch and you sew up each front, right? The front seam of your pants. And then when you open it up, it'll look like pants. So the only other thing you have to do is, while it's still inside out, is fold it over. Um, these are kind of long, so you can fold it over twice or just once or cut it off. But I like, I kind of want to keep this edge because it's the finished edge of the sweater and that way I don't have to hem um, or worry about that unraveling at all. But you're gonna sew all the way around to make a channel for your elastic. I would leave about an inch or two open um, so that you can thread your elastic in. I like to use about an inch um, wide elastic. I usually measure around the kids to make sure it'll go around and um, make sure I have enough to overlap. You want it a little tight because you want it to cinch in a little bit. Um, use a safety pin on the end of it to kind of give it a blunt end to push through. And then I just sew the elastic together or I've even tied it if I have extra. Um, and I know I didn't want to, I didn't feel like sewing it. Once you have done that, you can turn it right side in and you will have your done finished pair of sweater pants. And it'll look something like that for an older kid. There's a pin. And yeah, so it can look like that. These are, remember, if you have younger kids, it could just be um, the legs. I have another pair over here I wanted to show you, a little different kind of a sweater. This is like more felted and thinner than that one, so a good mid-weight layer. Um, this one also, you can see the difference where I added a piece. The lighting is better. You can see where I added a piece here. Um, the seam is here, and then I added a piece here, and I added a piece here on this leg to make them longer. These fit my eight-year-old. Um, and that's it. So once you've sewed the top, 
you will have your pair of pants ready to wear in your fun outside adventures. Um, I can't wait to see what you sew. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at wildmathcurriculum at gmail.com. If you want more ideas about how to get outside, you can check out our website at discoverwildlearning.com.